Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are currently in the Starbucks line. My channel. We're getting a coffee and I'm getting a matcha and I think we're getting, yeah, I'm getting a breakfast sandwich. We, it is around 12.30. We are going to the car dealership. This will actually be our second day at the car dealership. Last night we went and picked out our car and like all that, but by the time like, you know, going to the car dealership takes years. So by the time, um, like we are getting to like taxes and all of that, like it was just too late and it would just be smarter to just do it today. So we're on our way there. We have Rocky with us this time though. So that's another reason they did all the paperwork, like got it all together and then we just pretty much have to sign it and then take our car home. I'm so excited. We're gonna surprise you with what car we get. With my truck. But we, um, they're like cleaning it and filling it up and it's gonna be all ready for us because normally when you buy a car, they do that for you and it takes forever, I feel like. So yeah, pretty much go there, sign papers and leave with our new car. And then we'll just come home. We obviously had to put our car seat in it and stuff. And then I think we're gonna go to the mall today. And I think that's about it. Do you have anything to say? A new car. You're excited for a new car. Yeah. Me too. We were driving it. I was like, wow, I love it. I'm gonna drive it. No. You drive this one. <laughs> yeah, this is Civic. Yeah. I've had this. This was my high school car. And I always see TikToks where it's like girls who drove Civics are toxic. <laughs> in high school <laughs> all right you guys we have been vlogged like all day because we were at the car dealership um we were or we we got there at one and then we didn't get out of there till like almost 3 30 3 45 right and we did get a new car um so i guess we'll just show you that tomorrow obviously because it's dark out now it's around 8 30 and yeah how do you feel about the new car I love it. we're driving it right now because i've only driven it i mean matt test drove it but like i've only driven it since we've owned it because like i had to drive it home so he could drive the other car home and then yeah i don't know i just drove it but uh it's so nice like for real and i'm so happy with like rocky being having so much more room because in our old escape uh, literally, he was like smushed, it felt like, because it, is, it was so tight back there, but yeah, so. All right, you guys, so I promised you a car tour. This is my steering wheel, so I can't put it down anymore, so I'm like, I don't know, but it's like perfect view. I don't need like, I don't know, it's like my dash is humongous. So we ended up going with the 2020 Ford Escape, the SE edition, um, which is like the sport edition. I don't know, I don't know too much about like that type of thing. I just like what's in the inside and how it looks. That's all I care about. But um, I absolutely love this car. So I'll kind of show you the inside and then I'll show you the outside. Um, our last Escape was a white Ford Escape. It was 2015 SE. Um, I only like black or white cars, so that's just my personal taste. I don't like red cars or anything like that. I just like it really neutral, so that's my thing. So I'll flip it around. All right, so here is what like the steering wheel obviously looks like. Here's like your lights, they're automatic, automatic brights, so if it's dark out and the car notices like a car coming, it will shut the brights off. Um, it's a very smart car, it's just kind of crazy to me. This like little button does like the lane, assistance so if like you go out of the lane it will alert you obviously this is pretty like self-explanatory window mirror cup holder these like divots on the door make the door really quiet when it is being shut so i can kind of show you so it doesn't like slam it so that's pretty nice um obviously you have like your mirrors and all that your mirror up here now moving on to this part of the car so it is like a push to start so you don't need like to put a key in on the steering wheel i mean it's like your volume skipping songs like you can go to the menu so like obviously like here's the menu like your uh 
miles per hour, all of that. Um, there is no place to put a CD, which is so weird to me. So I have all these CDs that I'm just gonna have to give to Matt because I don't have a CD player anymore. But um, so here is my uh, screen. Um, my audio is off right now, obviously, because I can't play music in the, my videos. But if you go to audio, I have like Sirius XM, so I'm playing like Dave Matthews Band Radio. Then you can go to like your phone. There's like apps on the f car. And then obviously your settings. So now when I plug in my phone, my phone apps will pop up. So I'll show you that. I'll try to do it with one hand. So um, plug in my phone if I can. All right. So now my phone will pop up. Um, so here's my phone apps. I mean, you're not going to get like Facebook on here or anything because obviously it's not safe. But this will take you back to the Ford menu and then you can just go back to your car, your phone, music, maps, messages, calendar, podcasts. This is like what's now playing, which is um, just a bunch of different like this is the Pandora the car comes with. And then you can go to like my Pandora. So that's like recent. So I have like all of these stations. Um, and then you have like your settings, Pandora, like I said. Um, so like, let's just say I go to my music. I hope it's like showing up, but like, okay, Tom Sawyer by Rush. All right, so we'll go back. You can go to like my library, um, playlist, album, songs, downloaded. You can like browse. The, my car has Wi-Fi, so this is like all the stuff. It's like Apple Radio. Um, so that's that you press this button you can like change like the background and all that I just like it white I feel like it looks nice um, press it once it just shows like the time and day press it twice it turns the whole monitor off um, in here obviously I have it plugged in it's just like a thing where you obviously put your whatever this is the gear thing I've never seen this before it is so weird like I'm like wait I don't know it's weird and then here's your parking brake so you just put that on it the parking brake obviously we don't need it um so i turned that off but um this is see like a lot of this is like i don't really know okay this changes so up here it will change it like uh your drive mode so normal eco sport slippery um deep snow and sand so just normal this is the um auto start stop so like when you stop your car, it will like stop a little bit and then start up again. You can turn that back on. Um, this is like, it automatically breaks your car. Like if it, like if it um, senses someone like cutting you off, it will alert you like to break now. If you do not listen or like, if you don't just like turn it off, it will automatically break your car. So that's kind of crazy. Um, obviously like cup holder, self-explanatory moving into the glove box um i don't have anywhere to hang my masks now but this is pretty much just like all my personal stuff like hand sanitizer deodorant all that pen holder um glove box is pretty small honestly i feel like my other glove box is way bigger but i mean that's just like stuff you don't really go for obviously the doors are the same this has like the sunglass holder so i just have a pair of sunglasses in it your light and that's pretty much the front the fabric is like um has like divots in it feels really nice oh and there is seat warmers i forgot to say that obviously this is where you control all your ac you can, like turn it up change the temperature um just like whatever um you can turn it completely off there's obviously so many more features that i have no idea like i'll just have to learn as i go it's just like way more than my other car had so like already i'm getting used to like the monitor i'm getting used to um like the gear thingy all right guys now moving to the back seat <laughs> um so my car actually has vents in the seat or in this car so thank god because that was awful it comes with like obviously usb chargers and all that um i have my garbage can hanging behind me which is kind of weird but i don't have anywhere to hang it the doors are obviously the same. We obviously just have like these shade things for Rocky, your lights, um, like clothing hang things. I don't freaking know. I don't use those. 
Rocky has his whole setup. I mean, this didn't obviously come with the car, but we put like a mat down to like protect the seat. He has his little iPad for long distance, a mirror, fan. This is pretty like self-explanatory with the cup holders. Um, has like this pocket back here. I mean, the back seat is pretty self-explanatory. It's really nothing cool. The only thing that is really cool with the back seat, which I will show you, is that um, you can move the back seats up and back. If that makes sense. So like here, let me do it with um, both hands and then I'll show you. So do you see how much less room there is compared to that seat? You can put the seats up if you have something really big in the back that you need to like drive around with or um, you can just make a ton of room and put the seats back. That was like a good selling point because I felt like Rocky was super crammed in the back seat, so we don't have that problem anymore. All right, so now to the trunk. We have the USB plugged in for his iPad. It's just like around and then to his iPad back there. Obviously we have our stroller, reusable bags, and then that's pretty much it for the trunk. This thing can go up or down to save more room. Obviously the seats can go down. There's obviously like a tire under here. And I guess that's really it for the trunk. I mean, the trunk's nothing crazy. Now for the back of our car, it just looks like that. Obviously I'm just covering up my license plate. So it's just the Ford Escape. Um, coming around, this is like what the body looks like. And then this is what the front looks like. It has like a really big grill. It's more like rounded, I'd say, right? Like the front. Yeah. Compared to our other one. And then obviously like the other side's exactly the same. All right guys, so that was our car tour. I hope you guys liked it, but we are going to go to the mall and I'm gonna get Starbucks for the first time in my new car. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I don't spill it. Do you love the car? I do. It's really nice. It's so nice. Like I feel like smells good like rich i don't know why like driving i'm like wow i'm not rich but you know what i'm talking about but yeah i really do love this car i think it's so nice but we will just catch up with you at the mall or whatever we end up doing kelsey driving the new whip the 2020 tesla look at that tv screen though i love that she loves it she's focusing on the road what? she's all nervous Star. Look how much room little buddy has. Oh my god. You love it? Yeah. Yeah. Here's Kelsey's Starbucks order. Starbucks for the first time in my new car. A green thing if she spilled. I'm not gonna spill. Should I get the banana what nut one's bread? Mine? I don't know. This one I drink out of. Every time we come here I want banana nut bread. But I never get it. Don't they have pumpkin bread? Alright. Oh wait, I'm gonna get the pumpkin bread. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I'll pick up for you. Can I get a grande ice matcha latte with one, or I'm sorry, two pumps of raspberry? Okay. And then oat milk? Okay. Do you want a drink? Pumpkin bread. And then pumpkin bread? Did you want to warm it up? Yeah. Yes, please. You don't want a drink? No. Anything else? No, that's it. Alrighty, coming on, thank you. Thank you. Guys, Kelsey and I have been together for a long time and we've never been on a plane together. But we are. Yeah. Soon. Next and week. How long have we been together? <laughs> married for seven, eight. About right. Yeah. I Close. think it was eight in June. Remember? We started dating around your birthday. We'll go with eight. But yeah, I've never been on a plane. We're supposed to go to the Caribbean, but got canceled. And I was gonna vlog that. That was gonna be my first like vlog, but obviously it got canceled. I hope Rocky's good, cause I'm scared. Well, I, I took to him, put him on the cockpit. <laughs> I took him on a plane when he was around. So his first time was like October. So he was like ten months. Yeah. And but... then I well, took him well, again in. January and he was good but I think that's because he nursed and he couldn't walk yeah now he, he just wants to run and it was so much easier when I did nurse him because like the whole flight so their ears don't pop you just nurse them the whole time 
and he slept. So now I'm so glad you're flying with me because he's gonna want to run. Okay, I have 400. Whoa, I have 422 stars. Should I use them? No. Well, why did I, did I expire? <gasps> I don't know. What could you even get? Literally anything. Yeah, at least you'll be with me so we can both kind of like pass them around. And then we paid like extra to obviously make sure we sit by each other because obviously I'm not like walking Rocky up to the front of the plane. And I just want to sit by Matt. Like that's just kind of weird. And I don't know why they separate families like that. It's weird. But it's stupid. Um, yeah, especially during Corona. Like, hi. Thank you. Right. Good, how are you? Latte and pumpkin milk. Yes. That's for you. Thank you. We gotta get the dogs Halloween stuff. Okay. Latte. It'll be just a moment. Okay. We gotta get the dogs Halloween costumes. Picture them in Rocky. What's up, guys? So I. Well, pretty much making dinner. Those are leftovers. Those are leftovers. Olive Garden breadsticks, homemade, vegan. The cheese, hand grated. Pasta. And the secret sauce, look at it. Oh yeah, where is it? The fridge. Kelsey made Caesar salad. Vegan. All vegan, baby. What kind of cheese is that? Blue? Goat? Feta. Feta vegan cheese. It's actually really good. Should I throw those in? Sticks? No, I'm not the noodles at all. Yay! So Probably show you the um. We're having wine. Having some wine. Some Sauvignon Aldi. Sauvignon. It's sweet red. Hey you. Rocky got some from Disney Store. Sully, you love a Monster Inc. So if you can hear Italian music, we're listening to Italian music. Okay. But I went to Bath and Body Works. Get out of here. I needed, oh we can go put the, plug this in. I needed like a wallflower. I just got flannel. It smells super good. And then I got another fall candle since this is my last one burning. And I never uh, smelt this one before and it smells super good. I got pumpkin pecan waffles. It smells amazing. And then I also got a hand lotion for my car, but that's already my car. I got like the gingham, gingham. I might be sounding so stupid right now, but the gingham smell. And then I had to go to Ulta. I needed more of the ordinary niacinamide and zinc. I use that every single day. I needed a new powder, so I wanted to try out this uh, Revolution banana powder. I always hear good things about this stuff. Let's see if you can see it. I'll link everything down below, but I always hear good things about this and I never tried it and I ran out of my powder, so I need it. And then I got a few brushes from Morphe. I got the, let me open it. I got the Morphe M405. It's like this angled fluffy brush. Figured it'd be good for like bronzer. And then I got, babe, do you check those noodles? And then I got the Morphe M13, M173. And I'm gonna use this for concealer under my eyes and like spot, spot concealing. And that is all I got. Morphe right now is having a sale on brushes, buy one, get one free, so that's why I bought two. All right guys, our food is done. Here's our little salads, and then here's Rocky's plate. It's gonna be so good, so I can't wait to eat. Um, I'll let you guys know how it is. All right, guys, I look so pale. Yeah, you do. Why, do I look sick? I mean, boy. Wait, I actually look sick. No, it's probably like. I look like a ghost. 
Okay, anyways, ignore that. I'm about to go tan. All right, we're making mascot meals. I'm gonna apologize for my ugly mascot meal cups. Whoa. Dang. <gasps> Matt. Okay, but they got destroyed in the dishwasher. So we're making fall mascot meals. Everything um, is from Trader Joe's. So the vodka, the pumpkin ginger beer, and then cinnamon sticks. I was gonna add an apple into it, but I just don't think we're going to. And then, like I said, we have our cups, but obviously mine aren't pretty anymore because, um, yeah, the dishwasher. And I don't think you would add a lime because I feel like that'd be kind of weird. So we're gonna start off with the vodka. Our cups already have ice in them. And how much vodka do you want? A lot or a little? A lot. You want a lot? that, yeah. Oh. But should I put some more? It's a lot. I don't want that much. I want like a little baby Moscow meal. Okay. And then, did you try this? Yeah. Pumpkin pie this spice ginger beer. Spice to it. I guess you can even see what I'm doing. I'm pouring. <laughs> Nothing that cool. So I feel like this only can make like two Moscow meals. What? Yeah. You used it all already? Why is it so big? Alright, stir Rip it. Rip off. And then I'm gonna take a cinnamon stick and add it in. Oh, that smells good. It's like a taki. <laughs> it's not it's so a good. dog tree. <laughs> It smells good. They look really good. I'm scared to try it though. Yeah. The the cinnamon stick's very excessive. You don't need that. It's just like to make it pretty. It's pretty good. I taste the pumpkin. It's not even that strong. I feel like this doesn't go. <laughs> it's not as good as a normal Moscow meal. No, I feel like this isn't. This is very like. They're putting pumpkin in too much. Sometimes. Yeah, See, but I, it's good. I was gonna add an apple into it, no. just for garnish. It doesn't do anything. Cause it's not like you can squeeze an apple. A lime would be good. But no, for sure not. <laughs> Are my taste buds broken? Why? I can't taste anything. Corona. Let me try it. Yours doesn't taste like anything. You need to put more vodka in there. But I don't want Try to mine. taste like vodka. Try mine. Something wrong. I literally don't taste anything. I just have a bad aftertaste because it tastes bad. <laughs> so don't make these, I guess. And I just can't get over how pale I look. This is not okay. I don't even want to know what I look like on my, when I look back and edit this. Mm -hmm.